In this tip of the week, we will explore the features offered in SpeedGrader in My Classes. As an instructor, SpeedGrader allows you to view and grade student assignment submissions in one place using a simple point scale or a complex rubric. You can also provide feedback to your students with text or media comments. You can access SpeedGrader through Assignments by clicking on a specific assignment and clicking on SpeedGrader Quizzes by clicking on the quiz and clicking on SpeedGrader. Graded discussions by clicking on the discussion. Going to the gear settings icon drop down menu and selecting SpeedGrader. And from the gradebook by going to the submission, clicking the dialog box icon in the right corner and going to more details in the SpeedGrader. The SpeedGrader menu includes several tools and resources to assist with grading assignments. The left side of the menu includes general settings and options. The gradebook icon returns you to the gradebook. The mute icon mute or unmutes the assignment, where you may choose to mute the assignment while you are grading everyone's submissions and then unmute it when you're done. The keyboard icon opens a list of keyboard shortcuts for SpeedGrader. The help icon opens the Canvas help menu and the settings icon opens the SpeedGrader settings menu. This includes the option to sort your student list and hide names in the SpeedGrader if you would like to anonymously grade student submissions. The center of the menu bar includes assignment information and overall grading information. The assignment information includes the name of the assignment, the assignment due date, and the name of the course. To view the assignment details, click on the name of the assignment. The Assignment Details page also lets you download all student submissions for the assignment. You can print and mark up papers in ink to re-upload them back to the students with feedback if you choose to. While in SpeedGrader, if you would like to return to the course homepage, click the name of the course. The grading information includes assignment statistics, including the number of assignments that have been graded out of the total number of submissions and the average score and percentage. If you have not added any grades, you will not see the average score and percentage. You can use this information to keep track of your grading progress. The right side of the menu bar includes the student list for the assignment. SpeedGrader automatically opens the assignment for the first student listed in the student list, which is arranged alphabetically by last name. To submit a grade for the student's assignment, enter a grade in the grade field. To edit an existing score, click the grade field and enter a new grade. To manually delete a grade, click in the grade field and click the delete key. If a rubric is attached to the assignment, you can view the rubric by clicking the view rubric button. And if the rubric is set up for grading, the grade field will automatically populate with the rubric results. If you are manually entering the grade, you may see Canvas generate an alert notifying that the student was awarded an unusually high grade if the amount of points entered is 50% above the total points value, if an extra digit is entered such as 500 instead of 50, or if negative points are entered. Here you can leave assignment feedback comments for the student in the comments section. You can either leave a text comment, attach a document, or record or upload an audio or video file. Once you have graded the submission, the student's assignment indicator changes to a check mark, indicating that the submission has been graded. To grade the next student's submission, you can click forward or backwards on the arrows, or you can use the drop down menu to look for the next student's submission. The yellow dot indicates that it is not yet graded. Let's take a look at his submission now. Notice that SpeedGrader will generate a note indicating that the submission was late if it was submitted after the due date and time set in the assignment. This drop-down menu indicates that there were multiple submissions. You can click on the drop-down arrow to view previous submission details. Preview of submissions will generate a note that this is not the most recent submission to make sure you're grading on the most current version. When evaluating group assignments, you may see individual student names or group names in the drop-down menu. 
This is determined by the assignment settings if you chose to grade students individually or grade as a group. For this example, you will notice that we have course group names in the drop-down window. Evaluating group assignments is the same process in SpeedGrader as evaluating an individual student. The difference being that the comments will send to the whole group as well as the grade. In the gradebook, we see an example of a group project where the students were graded individually and an example of a group project where the group was graded as a whole. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please refer to the following guides.